Voila. Voila. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Shake him. <laughs> Welcome to vlog number two. Dos. <laughs> Uh, it's been like a month and a half since the last vlog. Sorry, guys. Since then, we've done a lot of stuff for at least Briars, and I just painted. But Briars done a lot of stuff for the van. Um, we've got some cabinetry, some flooring, some siding. He's done it all. So. Yes. Big shout out to Sam Hoffman for helping me do this. Big part of it. Um, so yesterday we did the flooring. Um, we kind of knocked that out, which was really cool. Um, I'm super happy about. Uh, so, decided we got it from Lowe's. We decided to go with Spice Bamboo. Um, got a little packet of the Spice Bamboo. Luckily, it was tongue and groove, so it was very easy to kind of put together. Um, similar to like puzzle pieces, or we call it Tetris. Um, but what we did was we kind of figured out the cut that we did um, to this particular flooring. Uh, made the cut uh, and then we put a bunch of glue on the bottom um, and then kind of laid it down as we wedged it together uh, with a couple uh, nail guns which was covered up by this middle kind of trimming or seam uh, right here that we did to kind of finish it off. Um, so yeah, it came out really good. I was super happy with it. Uh, we decided just to put the uh, flooring down in front of the cabinets in the bed instead of doing the whole flooring. Uh, throughout the whole van just to save money um, but it turned out really well really good and as far as the siding goes how did you guys go f the curvature of the van oh yeah that was tough uh, that was kind of one of the hardest things that we found um, especially towards the back of the van with the back it was you know with all the curves and stuff uh, we definitely had to uh, figure ways to wedge different two by fours into the metal um, and we were able to kind of strip everything across and go down the ridges of the van, kind of use that to our advantage because every little half inch counts, especially when you're talking about such a small space, you know, living condition. So we did a bunch of two by fours down the ridges. Um, we made a little transition piece and connect them and just did a bunch of nail guns. And again, it was tongue and groove, so it was easy to wedge, making sure everything was wedged together. And with each piece that connected, we took a little block of wood, we put some wood glue on it, and then we nailed it in there to give a little bit of uh, stability and support. And uh, we found that reclaimed cedar wood, which uh, is a lot cheaper than regular, uh, you know, regular cedar wood, uh, which, knock on wood, <laughs> is uh, kind of saved money in the bank a little bit and able to use it. And it will All right, well, you guys know what it looked like before this. I said it was a nickel dollar one, but I ain't seen a nickel. Yeah. <laughs> million dollar one. Oh yeah, it says million, million dollar I ain't seen a nickel out of that million dollar. We'll do a quick walkthrough of what we have now, and then today we're going to finish painting, and then you're going to do the curtains to block out the windows. Yes, yeah. Somewhat. We'll figure out a way to do that. Yeah. Not we're, too sure. Yeah, we're going to put our second coat on the uh, cabinets. Um, Yep, and then do the windows like Danny said, and then tomorrow we're going to kind of hit the solar. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're going to learn and, uh, you know, learn from our mistakes and hopefully get everything perfect. <laughs> so you have Goal Zero 1000? Yes, Goal Zero 1000 and a 100 watt solar panel. One solar panel? Yes, just one. And I was looking to just get one to mount on the top, and then eventually later down the road is get like a little solar panel that could be more mobile and I could take out and... Uh, you know, use if you're camping or something. Perfect. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, so this is the back of the van. Um, you can see uh, we did a horizontal bed. We used birch plywood to kind of put everything together. With the paneling, uh, we decided to not do the whole uh, paneling down to the ground just because we didn't want to bring the bed in here and scratch anything or damage anything. Uh, and normally the mattress will cover it. Uh, first we did the bed. Um, and then we kind of went ahead and uh, created two little little uh, storage units right here that uh, is, fits an average size tote box. So you could put storage down there. I'm going to decide what to do back here, kind of clean things up a little bit. As you can see, we got wires kind of running out of the side. Uh, I'm hoping the uh, jack and everything fits perfectly in these two areas. So I kind of want to store that. Uh, so. We'll, 
we're gonna try. The plan is to get a mattress from Sam's Club and cut it up a little foam uh, mattress to the uh, to the angles and the measurements of the bed, and then put it in here. So we're gonna see how that looks. Uh, so right here is the fantastic fan. Fantastic fan. Yes, yeah. Fantastic fan. Which is the fantastic fan they use them all in throughout the whole van life uh, dwelling series. So I decided to do this. I know it's over the bed, so if it leaks, it's gonna leak on the bed, but hopefully, knock on wood, that doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, but we cut it over here. Um, I decided to bring the hinges out facing the front of the van, just in case if I'm driving and I forget that it's up, um, the wind won't blow it and uh, hopefully damage the fan. But yep, here's the fan right here. We connected it to the goal zero, uh, so we know the wiring works, so we just need to kind of bring everything together. Uh, that was probably one of the scariest parts, cutting a hole in the top of the van, but um, I think the vanual, which is another source of information or use of information that I was using, um, a guy by Zach, he did the vanual and he has some really good uh, planning and stuff. But he said, you know, measure 50, 100 times and cut once. So make sure you got that nice little cut because you can't go back after that. All right, now onto the cabinets, which we're on the second coat of paint. Yes. Second coat of paint, hopefully all goes well. Very tedious. I know we should have painted it before we put it in, but uh, unfortunately we kind of just put everything together and uh, made sure everything fit. Uh, so now it's gonna be the hard part of getting the paint right and not hitting the cedar walls. Which is kind of hard. I hit it a couple times. Very hard, yes. But uh, you know, it's cool. So I'm excited. It came out really well. I love the white color. Morocco sand is what we try to get it close to. Um, I decided to go with a brightness to the van just because, you know, with blacking out the windows, I didn't want it to be very dark and kind of depressing. So it gave that little, little bit of oomph in it. So here's the main kind of cabinet where I'm going to do my cooking and have my computer. Uh, Sam was nice enough to cut me a metal piece for it. So once I'm cooking, I don't get anything splattered on the wood or I could just clean off the metal and it's easy to kind of take up and uh, take out. Uh, here, I'm gonna have my water jug. It's a six gallon water jug. I'll grab it real quick. Yep, got it. All right, so yep, six gallon water jug. Uh, thank you, Alec Trulo, for letting <laughs> me use this. I appreciate it. Um, but simple thing, just kind of pulls in, comes down, got these little stoppers so it doesn't fall out, but you can just take it out nice and easy and kind of refill it if you need to. Um, so under here I'm going to have the Goal Zero uh, solar um, Yeti. It's going to help charge the fan, the refrigerator, uh, the lights that I'm going to hang up and string across uh, the side of the van. Um, here I'm going to have the uh, refrigerator um, in this kind of pocket right here. Uh, so just big enough to open it. You can still get some clearance so you can pull stuff out of it. Uh, below the fridge is going to be the storage. Just some easy dry food storage and uh, cookware that I'm going to have down there. And then these big two other boxes or um, cabinet space is also going to be storage as well, which I haven't decided. I was thinking about putting books up here. Um, I ended up going with uh, some rock holds uh, that uh, Kara from Virginia Beach Rock Gym uh, gave me to help use. As, uh, decided to use them for stoppers. So I'm going to see how um, that works uh, as kind of little stopping points so things won't slide out. So. We'll kind of give that a shot and see if that works. Uh, if not, then we'll go to plan B. Um, but add a little character to the van, which is very important, uh, especially if you're a big surfer, rock climber, jiu-jitsu, yoga, whatever, whatever your passion may be. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. After we're done painting, we'll kind of put everything together and see how it'll look. So I'm excited. That's the last, you know, final step. We're getting closer. May 20th. Yeah. Okay. All right, scale out of, out of 10. 12. 12. That's quite generous. Mm. Mm. Very good, though. Yeah, I can't tell you about these donuts, but <laughs> if you're down in Sandbridge, you know where they are. <laughs> if you know, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. <laughs>